This is Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl here in Oman for the Louis Vuitton America's Cup World Series. The first time ever the America's Cup has been in the Middle East and also the first edition for 2016. What a day and I can't wait to chat to some of the skippers. I, uh, I believe these boats will be soon heading back to base but uh, we, we'll go have some chats now. Oh, Jimmy, you sound a bit crook, mate. Yeah, I'm um, just sort of battling through a bit of a flu but uh, no, look, the guys... The guys did a good job today. It was uh, really tough out there, but you know these are the conditions we actually want to train in and get good at. So for us, you know, you, we, we've been looking forward to actually just getting out there and being pushed. Yeah, had a, a mixed bag of results today, but I mean some good comebacks too. Yeah, I thought Tommy did a great job with the breeze today, and and we were learning and changing things after each race. Second race we had a tough one. You know, I don't think we reacted quick enough to um, some changes on the boat, and we just got held up. But we, uh, the important part was we bounced back for the third race. We made some nice changes. Boy sailed really well. Tommy called a couple of great shifts, and we're able to, you know, come away with a good result. So, anyway, it doesn't. To be honest, it's still wide open tomorrow with three double points races. So we'll be we'll be going back with Philippe and learning everything we can tonight. Perfect. Yeah, Tommy called how fast uh, the, the Ben Ainsley Land Rover guys were going, and, and he did catch you in that last one. Were you surprised or? Oh, look, it's it's like a bit of a minefield out there with the breeze, you know, and, but you've just got to credit those guys. They sailed really well, had a great day. But, you know, for us, we know we can make some more improvement yeah. and it's really about going to work tonight and uh, just one race at a time, just trying to take the steps and obviously the key thing is just trying to get a break off the line and get away from the mess behind. <laughs> awesome. Well, you did that well today. Hopefully you can conti continue to do that tomorrow. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's uh, wait and see. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you. This is Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl in Oman for the first stage of the Louis Vuitton America's Cup for 2016. Mixed bag day. Out there? Yeah, look, abso absolutely. I mean, you know, really, really up and down for everybody today, but um, tight racing. We haven't raced for, for, you know, three or four months now. And at the end of the day? Yeah, look, at the end of the day, fantastic. Uh, you know, we're all looking forward to tomorrow. It's um, going to be a big day with the way the points work out, and I think at the end of the day, you know, we're all learning, you know, a heap about still how to sail these yeah. boats, particularly in the light air. So um, today for us, a bit of a mixed bag, but, um, you know, looking forward to tomorrow. Awesome. Well, well done, and good luck tomorrow. Cheers. Your first day of official AC racing. How are you feeling? No, good. Good to have it out of the way, and uh, good to be uh, still with, in and with a shot and uh, fighting amongst the the fleet. Yeah, it's um, it's it's tough, tough gig out there. It's really tight. No, it was extremely tight. The um, start line was uh, rather small and didn't give much space for anybody on it. And uh, yeah, that's really, I think. The experience of the team's really shown through there with their starts and getting away and we got shut out a few times but um, you know, we're the newest team and we've got the steepest learning curve and so we'll be catching up fast and overtaking no time hopefully. <laughs> Bringing it always Adam and I. Um, yeah I mean tomorrow, this is day one, tomorrow what do you think you want to improve on? starts completely that's um where well, i let the team down the boys on board the boat today uh just you know uh, the starts if you could get a jump and get away from the fleet it uh, really really would have helped and um we're second row the starts and so we're right in there dirty air and fighting fighting for survival but um we did well around the course we sailed well and um managed to you know claw back into the races and get a third and a fourth in two races so we're pretty pleased with that which is great to see and, and you're, you're not um, you know you're not you're not going too badly I mean when you think about no I mean but when you think about how tight it is there's one finish I know that it was like oh who's gonna get it so. yeah the last finish the other day um, we uh, had a my worst start and um, we managed to uh, claw all the way back and overtake two boats just before the finish line so it was, it was really good work from the team. So I never say die tomorrow? Exactly, this, <laughs> this race course is so tight it's never over. Awesome, well good luck hey. Cheers, thank you very much. Ben, what a day. Yeah, great day. Yes. Yeah. Fun. Great way to start and I mean it sort of feels a, a bit like Portsmouth, you guys showed today that your boat handling was just really good. Yeah, uh, the guys did a fantastic job. It's tough with the Code Zero sail, mm. up and down and in and out. Yeah. Uh, Giles, I thought, did a really good job tactically. Again, those tough calls. Mm. And just uh, it was a team effort day today, and they pulled us through. Yeah, and, and even though um, you had that little issue with the Code Zero, you still came out OK. Yeah, well, we can certainly we can make improvements. I think everyone can. It wasn't perfect for us. Thankfully, in that race, we had a bit of a lead, so we were able to just sort of regroup, get going again. 
um, and that's part of the challenge with these code zeros for everybody. Yeah, we could hear with the onboard commentary, um, Tom Slingsby was commenting on how fast you guys were today. Did you feel quick? Do you think that was an advantage? Yeah, I thought, I thought we were pretty quick and Nick Hutton, who's our trimmer, he did a really good job because it does come back from, it's a completely other end of the spectrum from foiling around at, at yeah. sort of MAC-10, suddenly it's back to the nuances of subtle trim and sure. Nick did a really good job with the code zero up, wind and down, wind today and, and also Andy McLean who's uh, newbie on the boat and um, coming in with a bit more lighter weight yeah. and that the role that he takes on is a super tough one because he's dealing with the zero, the runners, uh, setting everything up for the manoeuvres so it's non-stop. Amazing. I was going to comment on that. You made a last minute crew change. That was Andy? Yeah, yeah, we put Andy on and it was purely just a, a, a weight issue and I think a lot of the other teams have done similar, yeah. made similar changes. And so Andy's come on and he's done a, done a great job for us today. Awesome. Well, well done and good luck tomorrow, hey? Yeah, okay, yeah. thanks. Awesome. Cheers. Good work.